Namam Vishnu Pai Krishna Bastai Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Gurudeva. Is other Sri Gauravani Pradjari Ne Nir Vishesha Sunyavati Paskatya Visatani Ne. Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, my beloved Guru Deva, received the name Bhakti Vedanta from Bhakti Pragyan Keshava Maharaj in the uh, assembly of the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. And Bhakti Pragyan Keshava Maharaj left behind as the next Acharya, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Vamana Maharaj, who was initiated by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur almost as a child, I think maybe he had 12 years or so. And Keshava Maharaj wanted him to be the next Acharya. And he said after him, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Pariyatok Maharaj would be the next Acharya. So this <coughs> went through as Keshava Maharaj had desired. And we are all very united in this way. And we can see this festival of Srila Vamana Maharaj today is an example of Godyamat unity and love and appreciation. What Adi Govinda just said about the situation in Armenia is very, very typical. Practically in every country around the world, there's different Godia groups and they have hardly any relationship with each other. Sometimes they even speak against each other, but at least they have very little cooperation. Now, that may not be so bad because we also believe in the diversity. Like Srila Bhakti Prabhantita Maharaj said, by the plan, by the divine plan of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta, so many Acharyas came out of his group of his disciples and they created much diversity. By this diversity, many great uh, things were accomplished. Srila Bhakti Daita Madhava Maharaj, for example, recovered the birthplace of Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. What an amazing achievement. And to make the most beautiful Godiamat on Grand Road in Puri, right in front of the Jagannath Rasa Yatra. Amazing. And at the end is Gundicha, where Srila Bhakti uh, my Bhav Puri Maharaj made another great grand temple of Godiamat. So it's very amazing. Bhakti, Srila Bhaktivedanta Vaman Maharaj, I had the good for, fortune of meeting him several times myself. He was very peculiar, very sweet. And uh, I, I had a few experiences with him that uh, he was, he, he always had a little sign on front of him uh, when he was sitting and it said, don't touch feet. Uh, <laughs> he was always keeping a little distant uh, from, from the <laughs> and, and he was so sweet and so kind. It, it was an amazing personality. And uh, I was feeling very fortunate to be able to meet him and to visit him in the same place where now this Vyasa, where this centennial Vyasa Puja is being celebrated. Um, back to Adi Govinda's description, since there's so much diversity in different parts of the world, Krishna consciousness is actually becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. But then again, there are tasks which need unity that are the common causes. Those common causes for the Vaishnavas, they are the ones where we need the unity. We don't need the unity for managing each mat of every mat. This is the individual responsibility. But when it comes to Dam Seva, when it comes to preserving our Gaudiya Granta, when it comes to protecting devotees, best example, Actually, Doyanita is here. He's also representing uh, Bhaktivigyan Maharaj from Russia. And Bhaktivigyan Maharaj from Russia, he was leading the defense when the Bhagavad Gita was attacked in Russia. 
actually the uh, the Catholic, uh, the the Orthodox Russian Church wanted to put the Bhagavad Gita on the list of prohibited books, and Bhaktivigyan Maharaj he was leading the defense and against it was a real big court case in two instances. At that time, the Vishva Vaishnava Rajshava, especially some of the members, they were very concerned if the Bhagavad Gita is going to be prohibited, it will be a disaster for Gaudiya Vaishnavism. So they joined the ISKCON with the defense, with the budget, and two instances of that court case, both were won by the Vaishnavas. And finally, there was no, uh, what you say, no loss. Uh, I mean, they, they, the Vaishnavas had victory and Bhagavad Gita of Prabhupada was uh, uh, glorified. So <coughs> um, Bhakti Doyani uh, Tai Prabhu, who is secretary and who came to this Vishwa Vaishnavarat Shaba meeting, we also had some meetings in India and we were traveling with Avadut Maharaj from Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. We were visiting the Srinathji, and we had many conversations because practically we were representatives of four different missions all together in that tour. So we had a lot of time to discuss different things where the common causes are very crucial. And like Adi Govinda was putting out, pointing out, now if in many countries this, uh, the the idea of working together on common causes starts growing, then we must remind Srila Bhakti Balab Tirta Maharaj, who was the president almost for 10 years of the Vishwa Vaishnava Raja, he always said, every country should have a sec secretary for Vishwa Vaishnava Raja in every city where they preach, so that they can stretch out, they can make connections with the other Vaishnavas maybe make a rasa yatra jointly or whatever they want to do what they want to help each other maybe utilizing the literature of each other their translations and 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 so i want to offer my humble obeisance today on this vishwa vaishnava rajshaba meeting to srila bhaktivedanta vamana maharaj he is really a wonderful symbol of this vaishnava unity which is being coincidentally celebrated today on the same day and I also want to offer my humble obeisances to this Srila Bhakti Rakakshita Deva Goswami Maharaj, who was the first one to revive the idea that we have to continue Vishwa Vaishnava Rajshava. We have to continue. It's not always easy. Sometimes communications are very, uh, very, uh, very almost nil, but it can become better and better. And like uh, Doyanitai was saying, yes, in the end of it, we should also cooperate with all the other Sampradayas because we have many causes. For example, with the Nimbarka Sampradaya, we have cooperated in restoring the Radha Govinda Mandir, the Radha Madan Mohan Mandir, and the Radha Gopinath Mandir in Vrindavan. We are very thankful to Sriji Maharaj from the Imbarka Sampradaya. He gave a lot of energy for this. He also restored the uh, Mansarova on the other side of the Yamuna and uh, very enthusiastic and very inspired about the work of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. So yes, we can work together with other Sampradayas, definitely. And if that is possible and if that is favoring Vaishnavism, it would be the most wonderful thing. It'll be a good hope, a good hope. You see, in the world, in my experience, is that the people are wary of any group with an authoritarian person on the head and everybody does what he says, but he's not accountable to anybody. They call this guru cult. So, so guru cults are seen under suspicion for the materialistic people. But a world religion where people are accountable to, to a higher ideal, 
which is represented for us by Guru Shasta Sadhu Vakya Chitte Koriya Aikya. By this, we are accountable to the ideal of our, of our Acharyas. By that, we <coughs> go into the category of a world religion. And the difference is there. As soon as you belong to a world religion, you get all the respect from society. And they give you a special protection as well. So in this way, there are many, many, many features of great necessity and adventure if our Sangha of the Vishwa Vaishnava Raj Shabha becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And I am seeing this is happening and I congratulate all of you participating and also from Russia, Janavi, uh, who's doing a great service with Vina International, Jiva Goswami, who's doing Vina Spanish, uh, Rasa Lila, who's doing Vina French, and, 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 and so many others which I don't have in my mind right now. Thank you very much for giving me the chance of saying a few words to you today on this extraordinary occasion. Jai Sirade, Jai Guru Valga.